Let me get this straight. You did everything right according to society's rules and you're telling me you're not happy with the results? You excelled in school, worked your butt off and built a successful career, live in a good neighborhood, drive a nice car, and aren't worried about monthly bills, but despite the picture-perfect life on the outside, there's an empty feeling, a sense of unease like something deeper is missing. Remember that inner fire that once drove you, the one that used to consume your soul like a wildfire to be all you can be? It's diminished now, isn't it? Doused and replaced by the cold, biting reality of a life lived for material possessions, putting others' needs first in social constructs. A life of half-awake work and mind-numbing monotony. Doesn't exactly spark a flame of joy in your bones, does it? Pause for a moment and let this sink in. You might be doing well on the surface layer, but here's the cold, hard truth. Amidst that seemingly picture-perfect facade, you're unknowingly missing the very essence of life itself. I'm talking about those profound, soul-stirring connections that leave you breathless, the magnetic friendships that push the boundaries beyond the status quo, the intoxicating romance that sets your world ablaze, and that relentless thirst for adventure and purpose that has propelled men to move mountains for millennia. Thoreau once wrote, the mass of men live lives of quiet desperation. Look around you, this is as true today as it was then. Perhaps even more so. We all enter into this world as a blank slate, an empty canvas to be filled with rich experiences, connections, passion-filled romances and adventures to enrich our lives. Men have always longed to explore the world alongside his soulmate. He dreams of heart-pounding adventures, immersing himself in vibrant cultures and cherishing those rare life-altering moments. But alas, his reality is far from idyllic. Instead, he finds himself relentlessly toiling, desperately grasping for a taste of true freedom. Every day he deceives himself, clutching onto the false notion that once he completes that next project or seals that elusive deal, he'll finally have the time and worthiness to embrace romance, chase adventure, and authentically align with his deepest values, ravish his beautiful lover nightly, yet he's been fed the cliché advice to toil relentlessly before he can, striving to amplify his worth as a man. So he takes it to heart, dedicating his life to arduous work in the pursuit of being worthy of love. But what does he get in return? A love life that fails to provide pleasure, instead leaving him feeling abandoned and disrespected. His partner's apathetic response to his romantic endeavors akin to a contractual obligation rather than an outpouring of raw passion, reducing their connection to the status of mere roommates. Isolated, he clings to his smartphone, its somber blue light a haunting symbol of the all-consuming void that torments his manhood. Discover a purpose so mighty, so unyielding, that he'd lay down his very existence without hesitation to witness its breathtaking realization. But here's the chilling truth, his days are shackled to a career, forced to coexist with similar zombie-like colleagues, all for the sake of financing an unceasing cascade of hollow possessions that provide fleeting value, pass time and hold no genuine meaning. Catapult out of bed each morning, brimming with an unwavering energy for the day. But alas, that is not the tale that unfolds. Instead, fatigue clings to his bones, sapping his vitality, as he traverses the exhausting grind of a never-ending pursuit of money, ensnared in the perpetual race to keep pace with the elusive peers around him. Determined to prove his worth, he yearns for validation, yearns for the recognition of his true capabilities, all in the hopes that it will rekindle the flickering flame of a passionless existence and breathe life into the barren landscapes of his love life, deepen his connection with his masculinity, not only finding himself, but actively sculpting himself into the confident, charming and alive man he's always aspired to be or once was, but instead, he settles for society's warped version of success, repressing his masculine fire, and sacrificing his most profound aspirations, dreams and desires on the altar of social accolades as he selflessly serves the needs of others. Ah, what's interesting is that he meticulously followed society's script, constructing a life that was meant to be extraordinary, unforgettable, and full of success. Yet here he sits, his eyes fixed on the glowing screen of a computer, ceaselessly treading away, trapped in the clutches of a whispering desperation that lingers within. We live in a world where men are now more afraid than ever to be masculine, alive and act like strong grounded men. Men like caged king lions, suppress their power and authenticity, concealing their truth behind a smokescreen of professional accomplishments and shiny toys. And so it begins, a treacherous game, one that threatens to swallow them whole. With each move, their once vibrant social connections and intimate relationships plummet into a harrowing abyss. 
A descent into darkness unfolds, gripping their souls like a serpent's squeeze. In a desperate scramble, the man succumbs to the alluring mirage of more, effectively ignoring the real problem while immersing himself in the superficial trappings of societal success. Just consider that. The suicide rate for men is 3.5x higher than that of women. Iconic men who surpass society's version of success, like Robin Williams, Anthony Bourdain, Avicii, Chester Bennington, Macmillan, Junior So, Chris Cornell, and Heath Ledger fell victim to this horrible act. The divorce rate in the U.S. hovers above 51%, with family courts often siding with the mother men are 3x more likely to become alcohol and drug dependent, not to mention adult website usage is at all-time highs, masking their problems and hiding rather than getting support and solving them. You can be forgiven for assuming that, at this point, men would reach out for help in droves. But because of society's mandate that real men are somehow capable of handling everything by themselves, men are less likely to reach out for help. Instead, men numb themselves to reality with pleasure-inducing addictions. Porn, social media, video games, Netflix originals, and even work have become the sources of our respite. But their shallow promises only exacerbate the issue. These vices do little to further what matters most in our lives and nothing to solve the deeper problems men increasingly face. So let's clear something up right now. Men's coaching does not mean a man is weak or incapable of achieving results himself. Coaching is strategic investment that allows men to grow faster by leveraging the guidance of a seasoned expert with the perspective, experience, and know-how to break through limiting beliefs that keep men lost for decades faster. Someone to hold you accountable, to speak to you like no other man will and guide you in your life and relationships or lack thereof to finally free you of the BS story that's been holding you back from experiencing the life and relationship you truly want. Let's be honest here. Warren Buffett wouldn't be the greatest investor of our time without Benjamin Graham. Marcus Aurelius wouldn't be one of the greatest philosophers in history, the Emperor of Rome, and one of the most successful generals in military history without Epictetus. Michael Jordan wouldn't be the greatest basketball player and arguably the greatest athlete of our time without Phil Jackson, and you could say the same for Kobe. And to believe that you're the exception to the rule is nothing more than nonsense. If you want to live an exceptional life, a life filled with joy, adventure, romance, deep connection, control over the direction of your life and a sense of true masculine power, getting help by someone who is a results-driven coach is the smartest thing you can do to get ahead of the masses. Men must bravely enlist the help of other men who have been there, done that, and can share their wisdom, guidance, and insight for living a remarkable life and cultivating real relationships beyond society's surface layer. And today, I'm going to share the 10 reasons why men's coaching is the secret edge you've been searching for, the missing link that will help men reclaim their masculine power, end the nice guy behaviors, and become more attractive to and respected by the highest quality women and most successful men in their community. There's no time to waste, let's dive in. Therapy can be great, and for some men, necessary. But it's not the end-all solution it's been made out to be. Sure, they'll listen intently, they're paid to. But do not confuse a good listener with actual progress in reality. They don't push you to challenge yourself, eschew the status quo of mediocrity, and step into your role as the king and creator of your own life. They know very little about reclaiming your masculine power and creating a life that makes you proud of the man you are becoming. Instead, they enable you to play small, encourage it even for longer than necessary. A men's coach doesn't. When you enlist the help of other like-minded men who have been where you are today, they can spot your BS before you even open your mouth. They will hold you to a higher standard, demand that you play at a higher level, and challenge you in a way that others wouldn't dare. Granted, there are well-meaning mental health professionals that exist, yet few and far between. And after working with 1000s of men, their feedback on the results of therapy versus coaching were all but ubiquitous and mostly time-consuming and costly. With therapy, they spent years, some of them decades, digging through their past to identify all of the ways in which their parents, teachers, friends, and high school crushes screwed them up for life. They myopically focused on the trauma, real or perceived, of the past, in hopes that somehow, by realizing that their anger issues stemmed from their broken relationship with their father, they would magically heal themselves and fix the problems with how they were showing up in the present. Therapy doesn't empower you to move forward, it only helps you resolve that which is already in your rearview mirror. 
It won't help you show up to your relationships in a more grounded way that women naturally respond to, build a social lifestyle that excites you, or contend with the very real challenges you're facing in the present. It simply keeps you trapped by the challenges you've already overcome. With coaching, it's an entirely different story. Yes, coaches will still address the implications of your past and how unresolved trauma might be manifesting itself as negative behaviors today, but they don't let you live there indefinitely and damn well, don't let you use it as an excuse. With a men's coach, the entire conversation is centered around growth, about learning from the challenges you've experienced in the past to become stronger and move forward today. It isn't based on theory, it's based on action, results, and experience. Experience from your coach's own life or the lives of those they've worked with and gotten the end result you seek. They'll listen to you deeply, yes, but they'll also have the courage and wisdom to speak to you directly like a man in a bold, masculine and direct way that is severely lacking today. Calling you out on the BS stories to which you've given away your power, giving you the facts of why your life isn't working effectively in this new era for men, and being brutally honest in their feedback. They'll hit you upside the head with a no-holds-barred reality check and hold you accountable to breaking the patterns and behaviors that are holding you back from the life, social status, and relationships you want. With a therapist, you talk about the past. With a coach, you march courageously into the future. They won't let you hide from your challenges or outsource responsibility for your life to some traumatic episode of the past. They will challenge you to level up today, to be real, raw, and honest with yourself, and take concrete, bold action towards solving the challenges holding you back from the life you want. Like me, your father probably wasn't the best role model. He wasn't the strong grounded man you aspire to be. He didn't live a passionate, courageous and exciting life. He wasn't a part of a strong community of men. He likely gave his power away to your mother and unintentionally taught you through his example that to be a man is to resign yourself to a life of serving and pleasing others, void of true purpose, power and adventure. Like most men, your father was either a quintessential nice guy who trained you to adopt those same patterns and behaviors or the opposite a bad boy, who inadvertently trained you to be a nice guy because you wanted to rebel and be nothing like him. This isn't meant to denigrate your father. He likely did the best he could with what he was given from his father. You may struggle with how to treat women, especially attractive women. You may struggle standing up for yourself during conflict. You may avoid or put off conflicts to not upset anyone or cause any problems. You don't know how to respectfully get your needs met and because of this hide a deep frustration inside, or sometimes it uncontrollably explodes in an anger-fueled outburst. You are a nice guy who does things in order to get people to validate your worth. In our modern society, healthy and authentic masculinity has become vilified. Because of the real problems with toxic masculinity, we've instructed men to be submissive. We've trained men to eschew their masculine edge, to rely only on the feminine elements of their nature instead of bringing together both energies to become complete, fully integrated, grounded men. Today, it is more important than ever for men to regain their masculine energy because it is the missing link to get to the next level in life, especially romantic relationships. Too many men allow their nice guy tendencies to undermine their life, putting the needs of others first, struggling to assert themselves to avoid tension, being unable to set and maintain healthy boundaries, and refusing to prioritize their own goals, ambitions, and dreams. And the end result is always a life filled with regret, a decrease in the man's value and incognito resentment to those who take advantage of you with little to no appreciation. On the other side of the spectrum, we have the overachiever. Men who use their professional ambitions to mask the pain they feel inside and achieve some modicum of validation through their external accomplishments and accolades to outwardly prove their self-worth to society and, of course, women. While there's nothing wrong with success, money, or achievement, these men are not pursuing these things from a place of wholeness, using them as tools and resources to magnify a fulfilled life. Instead, they pursue them from the lens of scarcity, ego, and desperation, in hopes that the next milestone, promotion, or product launch will somehow give them the feeling that they are enough and others will suddenly validate them and place them on a higher arbitrary pedestal of life that they finally belong, yet the problem is this can go on for the rest of the man's life. Meanwhile, the clock is ticking. But when you leverage a men's coach, when you surround yourself with strong masculine men tempered by virtue and a sense of purpose and honor, 
you can begin the process of eradicating these dark tendencies once and for all. You'll learn how to develop your confidence in a healthy way, free of ego, how to set boundaries, prioritize yourself while still being valued and respected by others, and your desires, speak the truth even when it's hard, and cultivate a strong sense of self-worth. And from this place, you can finally be at peace with yourself and the world around you. You will be able to show up to life and relationships as your true self like never before. Woody Allen said, 90% of success is showing up. But men today are not showing up for the women in their lives. Men have lost the strength of their masculine edge and women are starving for it. Today, men are terrified by their own masculinity. They are petrified by their darkness and aggression and instead of embracing and learning to harness it, they suppress it and embrace what is easier and more acceptable. Nice guy, people pleasing and approval seeking behaviors. Both in their lives and in their interactions with women, the modern man often feels weak, spineless and powerless, castrated by a hyper-feminist society and emasculated by the women they yearn connection and intimacy for. If he's single, he struggles to be present in his interactions, suppressing his desire for romantic intimacy and acting disingenuously out of fear of rejection with the hopes of being liked for being a nice guy who will wait his turn. And if he's married or in a committed relationship, he gives away his power to his partner, marking the death of connection, deep intimacy and allowing her to lead the relationship and indeed his life. Instead of showing up as a leader, confidant, protector for her, he's little more than a walking ATM, a cash dispenser whom she begrudgingly settles for in return for an infrequent lackluster romantic life. And these behaviors put you at the mercy of women. She owns you and loses all respect for you, and therefore attraction and romantic desire cannot exist. You have no power in the relationship, and you both know it. When this happens, women, even faithful and loving women, become susceptible to the allure of infidelity. Not because they are bad corrupt people, because the man is not showing up the way he needs to and is incapable of doing the things he needs to do to keep a high quality woman engaged and excited in his life. She treats you like a little boy because that's exactly how you're acting. A physically big man with little inner backbone, one of the biggest turnoffs to women, unconsciously telling her that he is a weak man who cannot be trusted which makes her feel unsafe and unhappy. And when she's finally had enough of the weak needy behavior, she leaves him alone and heartbroken. You don't need me to tell you how painful a serious breakup or divorce can be for a man, especially a successful man of worth. Beyond the stress and financial burden of possibly losing half or more of your net worth and everything you bled for, these events are often a setback from which a man will rarely fully recover. They extinguish what little fire was left in his soul and snuff out the glimmer of hope that still twinkled in his eye. The financial and emotional cost of exuding weak, nice guy behaviors in a relationship is higher than most men realize until it's too late. Much higher than doing the work required to become a strong grounded man capable of attracting and keeping his partner among many other life benefits. And what most men don't realize is that women are just as confused, frustrated, and exhausted by this charade as you are. Women don't want a doormat for a partner. They don't want someone who spinelessly defers to and subjugates themselves at the altar of the feminine as to not upset her. They want a man they can trust, a man with power, vision and aliveness who gives her butterflies in her stomach and keeps her daydreaming when she will get to go out with and bed her king again. And when you work with a men's coach, you can become this man. You'll regain your masculine power, boost your confidence and show up to the relationship as a whole, fulfilled and complete man. A man who doesn't need a woman to feel validated or worthy but who chooses a woman with whom he can build his kingdom? A woman to love, support, and challenge, and who loves, supports, and challenges him. A men's coach not only helps you reclaim your power, you multiply it and go from the masses of men who are approval-seeking nice guys to OMG who is that guy. Most men believe that their purpose in life is relegated to doing whatever will make the most money, that their self-worth is contingent on their net worth, and that the only appropriate answer to the question, what do you want, is more. Sure, you make money, maybe even great money, but beyond the base level of success, the income doesn't excite or inspire you like it once did. It simply assuages your growing sense of a lack of purpose, allowing you to go through the motions, numbing yourself with vices without any idea as to what you're doing or why you're doing it. You follow the crowd aimlessly moving through life unconsciously, working long hours, giving up your personal life, saying no to the experiences in life you really want to make more money, and for what? Extra bedrooms, more horses in the car, 
a mini vacation where you spend your time sequestered in your hotel room responding to emails and putting out fires? Most men aren't willing to take a step back, look inwardly and ask themselves, beyond financial success, what do I really want out of my life and relationships? Because you haven't done this work, you grind even harder thinking more is the solution, desperately pouring your soul and finite time into work in hopes that one day, the money you earn will finally validate your worth as a man and make you feel enough. And when it doesn't, you seek instant gratification in the forms of vices like alcohol, drugs, porn, binging social media, TV, and excessive consumerism to numb the pain of a purposeless life. You spend money on lavish external things like cars, clothes, and unnecessary household gadgets in the hopes of finding just a niggle of temporary excitement. But the fleeting and superficial nature of these purchases leave you no more content, joyful, or alive than the month prior, keeping you in a perpetual cycle of consumption. Indeed, there has been major shifts in society. Men today have no great war, no cause, no purpose, and feel utterly lost because of it. Every man needs a fight, not necessarily physical, but a greater mission to fight for. Your purpose in life is to find your purpose and give your whole heart and soul to it. Gautama Buddha Something that's greater than yourself, and for some men possibly noble enough that it's worth sacrificing everything for, by plugging yourself into a community of like-minded men led by the guidance of a team of expert men's coach who can open your eyes up to a new possibility, you'll gain clarity on your path and purpose and unlock a new level of meaning and significance in your life that supersedes the purely materialistic of the unconscious masses. Well folks, that wraps up our discussion on why men need a coach for life and relationship breakthroughs. But wait, before you go, don't forget to check out the second part of our series. Coming up part two, 10 more reasons men need a coach. In the upcoming episode, we delve even deeper into the invaluable insights and strategies that a coach can provide to help you navigate life's challenges and achieve your relationship goals. Trust me, you won't wanna miss it. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications.